guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be an Arquette centric video and I'm going to be mainly focusing on their transitional items. Now I'm going to break up this video into two parts today. The first part will be my transitional favorites from the brand. Now, these are the items that I've really been gravitating towards during the cooler months. They're also the items that I really miss whenever they're in the wash. And they're the items that you would have seen all over my blog whenever I share my daily outfits. And the next part of my video is going to be a bit of a try on because I've just placed an order and I've received it. And I'm going to share with you a try on and my first impressions of some items that I have bought from their Autumn 22 collection. Now, a word of warning, Arquette is a very dangerous place for me and my wallet. This year I've placed five orders alone and I read somewhere on their websites the customer that they aim to target and I felt like I ticked a lot of those boxes. And if you're based in Australia like me, then orders take roughly five to seven business days to arrive. We still don't have a store here in Australia. I don't know whether one is in the works, but considering Arquette only started shipping to us about two years ago-ish, I'm not gonna complain much. Now, the things you should know before I start sharing with you how the items have fit on me and how I've gotten along with them is I'm petite. I'm 5'2", I'm 158 centimeters, and I'll pop all of my sizing information just magically over here. I'm pear-shaped, I have a longer torso, and I have short and stubbier legs, and so it's not always straightforward to find items that fit me perfectly straight off the rack or like shopping from the high street. Petite people, I'm sure you can appreciate. Okay, so let's get the party started. Now I've whittled down my MVPs to a top three and these are the items that I have absolutely zero hesitation in recommending to you. In fact, I think you all need to run and buy them straight away. The first item is their short trench coat. This was an item that I initially bought on a whim because I liked how it looked on the model, but it has been one of my most relied on outerwear pieces in the past couple of months since I bought it. I love this one so much and I have this one in a size extra small that I very quickly bought the black one as soon as it was restocked in my size. And it's a really deliciously oversized cut without drowning me. Now, I think this is a really flattering style on all body types, but I think particularly if you're petite, it's a really great outerwear piece to have because it hits at a really nice length. I think on me, it hits just underneath my bum, but I'm really drawn to the oversized kind of chilled outerwear items, but a lot of them are made in the longer styles. And whenever I try them on, they always just completely consume my body. Whereas this, you can achieve that very chilled outerwear vibe without looking like you're borrowing someone else's jacket, if you get what I mean. There are some really nice design aspects to this one as well that I really like. There are these details on the shoulders. There are cuffs on the arms that you can cinch in at the wrist just to make sure that it fits you a little bit nicer. There are storm flaps and it's made of this really drapey cotton linen blend fabric that just sits really nicely on the body. But it's worthwhile noting that this isn't water resistant like traditional trench coats, but it will keep you very warm. Next. The second MVP that I have to share with you is this polo neck style knit, this striped knit of dreams. This is a piece that you would have seen a lot over on my blog and also on my YouTube channel. I have worn it a few times, but also it's everywhere. Everyone has this, I feel, <laughs> but I think with good reason. It constantly sells out and it constantly gets restocked because it's that popular and the hype is worth it, guys. It really is an incredible piece. It's one of the best basics that I have in my collection, an incredibly elevated and well-made one. I've managed to wear this to work and on weekends. It's so easy to style. It ticks both the form and function boxes for me. And I think that it's incredibly well-priced considering its quality. Now, size-wise, I have this one in a size extra small and it's a really good fit on me. It's cut to a boxier fit. Something to note is that the arms are a tad long on me, but I just fold them up. But because of the structured style of the knit fabric, the arms just stay. Everything just stays and it just sits really nicely. If you've been umming and ahhing over this, then this is your sign to just get it. Just, it's that good. And to round out my transitional MVPs, I have here a merino long sleeve style knit. And I have this in three colors. I've got it in black, I've got it in brown and I also have it in beige. I think the beige is now sold out, but it's still available in brown and black. And I love this style of top so much, I am even contemplating getting it in some of the brighter colors that it comes in because it is such a flattering cut and style. Now this style of top, I can definitively say I have worn the most during the autumn winter season. They are incredible pieces for layering. I find that I can get away with wearing just this top and a blazer and I'm set and warm for a 
work day or this style top and a coat if it's a cooler day. They also look great just on their own because they're a really nice fitted cut, particularly if I am wearing something looser down the bottom, like my wide leg trousers or a midi skirt, for example. Now on the website, it does say that these items are slightly transparent and I do agree with that. I think that they are slightly sheer. Um, I have been asked whether they are still appropriate to wear to the office and yes, these are the tops that I've been wearing most to the office. I do think though that if you were to wear say a fluoro green bra then it would be obvious and so just save that fluoro green bra for something more opaque and stick with something a little bit more neutral when it comes to wearing these items. Now size wise I have these in a size small. I originally bought the extra small when I first tried them on and I found that it was just a little bit too tight and not very comfortable so I will size up in more of the fitted items just to have more of a comfortable fit. Okay, so MVP is done. Now let's get on to the try on section of this video. This order is a little bit of an exciting order as well. I've branched out a little bit from the usual basics that I order because as you know, I really love Arquette's t-shirts and knits. I typically only stick with their tops, but I've expanded my horizons and I have a pair of trousers in this order as well as two dresses. And so I'm really excited to give them a go. I'm not sure whether they'll work. That is just the petite conundrum. And so let's just get stuck in and let the sticking begin. Now the first item that I ordered is the wool hopsack trouser and this always appears on Arquette's best sellers list or most popular list and it always appears on a lot of influencers favorites lists too. Now I ordered these in a size 36, yes I ordered these in a size 36, the equivalent of a UK 10. They feel like your traditional old school suit, there's no stretch to any of the fabric. Now I find it a little bit challenging to shop for trousers considering my petite frame. I have a style from the Frankie shop that I've completely latched onto and I have it in three different colours because the style has really worked for me. This is a very similar colour to one of the pairs that I do have, but this one actually feels like it's made of a better quality fabric. Yeah, look. Let's see how they go. I have a feeling that they will be too long, but let's just see how they fit around the waist. Hmm. I don't think we're off to the greatest start here, people. Uh, a few things that I am not particularly pleased with. Let's start off with the good things though. Um, that is that the size 36 is the right size, particularly around my waist. It's fitting quite nicely. The color is nice and the fabric is very good quality, but the fit is, I think, all types of wrong on my body shape, which is a bit of a shame. The length obviously is too long, but that's, you know, way to state the obvious, Captain Obvious for us petite people. I always have to take up trousers anyway when I'm buying from the high street. But it's the pleat, it's this pleat situation. I think they're splitting, they're coming out, which is accentuating my thighs and making them look enormous. I mean, I have thighs, but they're not as big as the trousers are making them out to be. And so I think they are rather unflattering, particularly from this angle. I mean, that's how it looks when I am on my tippy toes, still a little bit too long. But yeah, I think it's the it's the pleats. The pleats adorn my head in. The next item that I ordered is a style that I am very familiar with and you might recognize as one of the merino style knits that I shared in my MVP section. I decided to branch out and add this print to my rotation in the size that I know that works for me. I have high hopes for this one and I'm really looking forward to integrating this into my current wardrobe. Unless they have drastically changed the way that it fits, I have a feeling that this will be a home run and so let's try it on and see how it goes. Well, this is a little bit of a no-brainer if I say so myself. I'm really glad I managed to pick this one up. This is a limited edition print and I really love it. I love that it's still in a monochromatic palette, which means that it still works with the neutrals that I wear particularly to work. I got a little bit excited and I've put on my Anine Bing satin silk skirt as well as my Dior pumps because this is an outfit that I would happily wear to the office. I think it's quite dressy if anything, even though it's so simple. But I mean, look at this print up close. It's really quite lovely and a very flattering fit. Well, this is most definitely staying and is the fourth top that I have in this style. Mm. 
moving right along and I have here a dress. I'm trying to branch out a little bit. This one here I was really drawn to. It's a tiered style, it's loose fitting. I really like the colour and it's got a really subtle floral print here. I am not sure whether it's going to work on my frame. I'm a little bit worried that it might be a tad long. I ordered this one in a size 34 which is the smallest size that it comes in just because I figured it was an oversized cut and I didn't want it to be just too moo-moo-ish on me. I wanted it to be at least a stylish moo-moo. And so let's try this on and see how it goes. So I am a virgin no longer. I have officially popped my Arquette dress cherry. And yeah, I am, I mean, I like it. I don't love it. I'm on the fence about it, but I am open to it right now. I think it's hard to picture how it would look if I were to completely style it because my hair's not done and I'm not wearing much makeup today and I feel like I'm not sort of at my best in order to be able to assess whether or not it will work if I were to wear it to an event. I mean there are all those petite styling rules that you read and a drop waist which this has is something that you are not recommended to wear as a petite because it can make you look shorter. I'm undecided. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I think the smaller size was definitely a good call though because I think if I went for the bigger size then it would be way too big on me and just way too long. Yeah, what do you guys think? I have another dress here. This one is one of their black dresses, one of their very popular styles. This one here comes with an elasticated waist that you can adjust with these straps on the side as well as a looser elasticated neckline. I can see myself wearing this to work because my work is now a little bit more smart casual as opposed to corporate corporate. And so I was looking for some more relaxed but still conservative looking dresses to wear to the office. And you know, off the rack, I think that this is going to be really nice, but you never know until you try it on. So let's try it on. Okay, this is my jam. This is my cup of tea. I'm very comfortable in this dress. I think that it is the perfect sort of casual workwear, but still conservative. I think it nails that brief and it accentuates my waist, which I really like. The length is also really good. It's not too long and it doesn't sort of make me look shorter than I actually am. The fabric is also really good quality. It feels really nice and durable, but it's also breathable at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Let me just see if there are pockets. Yes, there are pockets. That's very important. Okay, I'm even happier about that now. I'm just wearing these five centimeter block heels that I typically wear to the office. And I think that this looks just very smart. What do you guys think? Now I have a few wardrobe basics here to try now. This one here is their ribbed racerback tank. I know that racerback tanks are having a little bit of a moment right now and I do have a couple in my collection already. I've got a black one from Anine Bing and I have a dark charcoal one from Evelyn. Both of those styles do come in quite deep before coming into the neckline which means that I have to wear a strapless bra with them. I have a feeling this will be sort of the same thing even though it doesn't come in as much but I think I watched a Brittany Bathgate video where she was saying that she preferred the Arquette racerback tanks because they didn't come in as much and so they didn't look as trendy per se. I have this one in a size small considering it's more of a fitted cut and I want it to be just a little bit more comfortable in the summer and so yeah let's give this one a crack. So I've switched out to a strapless bra for this one just so that there wouldn't be any visible bra straps because they do show on the sides even though the racer back cut isn't as severe as the other styles that we're seeing around at the moment. The fabric of this one is really comfortable and really soft. The size small was a good call. Well done me, good choice there. It fits me really well. It's not too tight, but it's also not too loose. And I think it's fitting the way that it should be fitting, particularly with this style top. Pretty happy. The second last item that I ordered, I've only got one more here to share with you, is this heavyweight t-shirt. And I first tried the heavyweight t-shirt in an order earlier this year in the tan color. I got that one in a size extra small and I was blown away by the quality because as you know, my favorite t-shirt ever is the Arquette Classic Crew Neck Tee. But I am really looking now to upgrade all of those classic tees to the heavyweight tees, which have the same sort of cut, but in this really premium fabric. And so I have the tan in the extra small, probably a bit too fitted for my liking. I have the white one now in a size small. I ordered that 
probably a couple months ago, the same time I ordered the um, short trench coat and I really love it. And so I decided to add a black one to my collection. And so again, I have a feeling this is gonna be a home run because I really love their t-shirts. This one feels really premium. And so let me put this on and let me show you. Here is the no-brainer heavyweight black t-shirt. The small, as you can see, is a little bit oversized on me, but I actually like that. I like that it's more of a relaxed cut. I've just worn it untucked just over a pair of light colored trousers and my Dior slingbacks again. And I think that this is a very smart look, very minimal, but I also do like tucking in the t-shirt as well, because as you can see, it does make me look taller and slimmer. Yeah, this, feels really premium quality as is expected with all of their heavyweight t-shirts this is now the third one that i have in my collection and i can see myself adding pretty much all the colors and last but not least i've heard some amazing things about their linen and considering we're heading into summer here in australia i decided to get myself a pair of linen shorts these aren't quite bermuda shorts they probably sit between a bermuda short and a short short they are a really nice heavyweight fabric i've never tried Arquette linen before. I do have their linen shirts on my radar that I really want to try out at some stage. I ordered these shorts in a size... what size are you? Probably size 36. Yep, a size 36, which is equivalent of an Australian or a UK 10. Because they're on sale, I'm not sure whether they will be available right now, but they're a style that constantly get released with the new season. That's the thing about Arquette too, they always re-release the same styles. It's not as trend-based as other high street stores. And so, let me pop these on. This like in-between length is quite flattering because the largest part of my leg is actually here. And so they end just as my thighs sort of slim down. And I feel like that's quite a flattering, elongating effect that it's giving me. I don't actually have any shorts that are this length. I mainly have sort of Bermuda style shorts that are a little bit longer. And I've also got a fair few pairs of short shorts that I can't really see myself relying on too much in the future anymore, just because I find that they're just a little bit too short now for me <laughs> and my taste. But this linen is really, really quite nice. It feels very weighty, very luxurious. I feel like this is a very dressy outfit, just simple with my heavyweight t-shirt, my linen shorts and these block heels. I bought these on sale and so if they're still available then I will link them below, otherwise I will link the style in other colours if you are interested in the style. So that's a wrap guys on all of the transitional things from Arquette. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed me sharing with you my transitional favorites from the brand, as well as my try on and first impressions of the items that I bought from their new autumn collection. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep or return any of the items that I tried. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps small creators like me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.